Hi and welcome back to the Papa's Living in Flip Flop Life. In today's episode, I want to tell you the importance of uh, being using a good hosting company and uh, the benefits you get by signing up, for example, with Hostigator. Now, I'm an affiliate for Hostigator, but the only reason why I'm an affiliate is because I know how to use it and uh, the people that sign up to me or the, the people that are getting my mentorship or and me helping my my people, uh, I usually let them go through a web, um, web a hostigator because I know how to use it. So if they get stuck somewhere, I get to help them and everything. But in our case today, I just wanted to go an overview of why I think uh, hostigator is a good hosting company and what it will benefit you with. All right. So and in. If, if you were to sign up and get a hosting, um, I would go ahead and choose Baby Plan. This is exactly what I have for dpoppers.com. Uh, and basically what this allows me to do is have unlimited domains on this host. Uh, unlimited domains means that you can have a lot of websites on just one hosting platform and you're good to go, all right? You pay it um, a, a monthly fee around, I pay like around, uh, uh, $12 a month I think for for mine when I first got it and I've been paying for for it for the past two years uh, other than that on that hosting I have a lot of domains that I got myself from uh, GoDaddy okay um, now what I wanted to do with this video is show you because I was just creating my own um, uh, domain and hosting uh, I just got myself a new product called uh, WP fan machine and basically I need to have my own domain for this and uh, this was a chance for me to show you what I would do and, and, and how I would get a hosting plan and domain and how I would connect them two together. All right. In my case, again, I'm going to tell you again, I would go for baby plan if you're going to uh, be creating a lot of websites. In my case, I went ahead and got the hatchling pan just, just for this product alone. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign into my GoDaddy account where I have my domain where the domain is the name of the website that I'm gonna have the hosting on, all right? So, um, and what I have here, let me just go to my, my domains. So, I, I went ahead and ordered um, a hosting plan, and I got the hatch link, et cetera, and then I received an email from, um, from Hostigator, let me just show you. Oh, right. All right. So this is my page right now on Hostigator, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead into my. But first of all, I need to to I need you to see this part right here. See these name servers. So if you go ahead and grab a domain from another uh, hosting uh, domain place other than Hostigator, for example, you just want to use GoDaddy, that's fine. All you have to do is come down here to the Manage um, Name Servers in your back office of, um, of uh, GoDaddy, okay? And what, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Custom and I'm going to add Name Servers and basically I'm going to get the information that um, Hostigator gave me uh, on my Name Servers. I'm going to get this right here, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to add it here. I'm going to do the same thing for the other one underneath. All right. So this is what, what it's going to do. It's just going to it's going to uh, contact and connect with Hostigator. Okay. So we're done with that. Now, when I ordered from my um, uh, Hostigator, I I told them that I have my own domain. Like for example, I went up here and I said I already have my own domain. And I er entered like web marketing services, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I, I put that one down, okay. And then if it, it gave me all the the pricing, etc., and got me to pay for it, etc. Also, don't forget you can use Honey, Honey app. It's a free app. Download it, use it. It will give you codes so you can get uh, for more discount discounted price on your hosting. All right. So basically right now what I did was I changed the, the name servers and I'm pinpointing it to the host gator um, uh, domain. So we're good to go there. And my next part is getting uh, into my uh, to the C panel. And so I can work with the uh, with the hosting uh, 
like get into my hosting so I can add the plugin and, and create my WordPress. Okay, so in the next video, we're gonna create the WordPress account. Welcome back. And now in this video, we're gonna set up uh, our first WordPress uh, website. So, um, Hostigator, send me my information. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open this in a new window. And, I'm, and this is gonna be my uh, C panel. Okay, this is where you control everything for, for your website. Very simply, just put in the information that you got from um, Hostigator. So I'm gonna get my, okay, I know that. So um, I just need my password. I'll be changing this and you won't be able to see what I'm doing right now with my password, just in case anybody's trying to hack. So um, go ahead and signed in to my cPanel. And this is where all the magic happens. It's very simple and people overthink this and you shouldn't, it's very, very simple. Okay, and how you can just set up a WordPress, uh, uh, okay, no thanks, um, a WordPress um, website. Okay, it'll pop up from uh, Hostigator themselves. All right, so what we wanna do right now is go ahead and scroll down and let me just get rid of Hostigator's pop up right there. All right, and what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and choose, where is it? It's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> I remember there was, ah, quick install. Click on quick install. Okay, All right, just come here to WordPress. All right, and that's it. It's very simply go to install WordPress. All right, don't do anything else. Just install WordPress. Um, I'll just leave it as it is. I'm gonna add my email. I'm gonna call it uh, Web WP Fan Machine since I'm gonna be adding that uh, deep admin user. Uh, okay, so I'm ready to go. This, these are you grab this and copy it and have it uh, write it down somewhere so you don't lose it. Okay, so uh, all right, that's for my admin area, perfect. And these are my so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in to my new WordPress account, and you're done. Got my sign in information and uh, believe me I'm gonna change it <laughs> as soon as I'm in before this is even up so don't don't worry it's for testing purposes anyways so that's it we're uh, we just created our first WordPress uh, website and uh, you can go ahead and choose themes from your uh, back office in WordPress it's very simple um, you could get it this up and started in like a heartbeat. You just saw like follow my 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 steps and sort. You have to connect your jetpack. Don't forget to connect your jetpack. Create a gravatar as well. It'll take you through the the uh, the steps and the appearances and themes are here and there are free themes to start off with. So don't worry about that. Okay. So you can go ahead and start off with the themes that they provide you with and uh, start building. And that's it. All right. Uh, thanks for listening. This was Deep Papa living for living a flip-flop life a mini training on how to set up your domains hosting how to uh, build your first WordPress theme uh, Thanks a lot for listening. Uh, peace out